Welcome back. Our segment now, Health Boost, with my colleagues Neha Mordani. Now, researchers at IIT Madras have, in fact, patented Indian spice-based nanomedicines for cancer treatment, aiming for market availability by 20. 28. The formulation show anti-cancer activity, in fact, as well, uh, that we're learning right now from those researchers. And here's a report on that. Imagine a day and age where nanomedicines made of spices will replace conventional medicines to treat cancer. As the complete eradication of cancer remains elusive through the existing therapies. The role of nanomedicine is assuming greater importance. Thanks to IIT Madras, it seems that day is not too far away when we use spices in nano-oncology to treat cancer patients. IIT Madras researchers have patented the use of Indian spices to treat cancer. Animal studies have recently concluded successfully and clinical trials are being planned with a target date for market availability of 2027-28. These Indian spice derived cancer nanomedicines have shown anti-cancer activity against lung, breast, colon, cervical, oral and thyroid cell lines but to be safe in normal cells. The cost, uh, the effectiveness, and this is, this was what uh, is addressed in our research. So I have been working on three spices, that is celery, cumin, and clove. So these research uh, was under the in vitro laboratory uh, scale. So and we found it to be very effective in comparison with the existing cancer. Uh, drugs available in the markets and was found very effective and so we want to uh, move to the next level to do in the animal studies. The medical benefits of Indian spice oils have been known through the ages. Now using them in medicine for cancer treatment is the newest horizon in cancer care. Indian spices have been known to have beneficial health effects for decades, for centuries. but. With most of these natural or organic products, the challenge has always been how to intensify their effect in such a way that they will have a quick effect instead of something that builds up over a very long period of time. And the use of nanotechnology, especially the preparation, formulation of nano emulsions of spice oils has given us this leverage. By preparing these oils, in their nano emulsion form, the first thing is they become much easier to orally administer and therefore their effectiveness is greatly multiplied. Doctors also talk about the advantages of nano oncology over conventional cancer treatment therapy. This includes no toxic side effects, reduced cost of treatment, abundance of Indian spice oils, leveraging of nano scale for optimizing effectiveness and bioavailability. What we are doing here is using the oil itself and preparing a formulation out of that. The advantage of this is that instead of trying to isolate and administer the active ingredient, when you actually ingest the entire oil in a form which makes it bioavailable, the interactive effect between the various components of oil also comes into play. And this makes the nano medicine that much more effective. Researchers at IIT Madras say that cancer nanomedicine is being developed with the intention of reducing the cost and pain of cancer treatment and also to overcome the toxic side effects seen in the existing cancer treatments. India is the world's largest spice producer, hence large-scale production could be achieved at a low cost with our Indian spice-based cancer nanomedicine. Imagine what unleashing the potential of these spices or cancer care would mean for a country like India. In New Delhi, Sneha Mordani for India Today TV.